Okay. Thanks everybody for being here. I want to thank all my colleagues for uh, for being here. If you go back home, in my state, what people are talking about is they're still talking about inflation, and they're talking about they want a, uh, a border to be secure right now. Uh, they those two issues still are the most important issues that people talk about. So all of us have been talking about this border bill for months. The thing that shocked me in the beginning was when McConnell took off the table the fact that we would actually require a lawless Biden administration to secure the border. The only way we knew how to do that is to take – he wanted you – Biden wanted Ukraine aid, so we said – and this was uh, – Ron Johnson put a lot of effort into this. We would say we would have on a monthly allotment of money tied to the numbers of people coming across the border coming down. But it's shocking to me and a lot of other people that McConnell took that off the table. Why this fell apart is because – it's what's happened since I've been up here five years. Negotiations were done behind closed doors. People that care about this issue, everybody up here, we want a secure border. People care about the issue. We're left in the dark. Uh, we started getting into some ideas about, about the text, and it seems like most of that's all come true. So what do we want? We want a secure border, number one. We don't want to codify Biden's open-door policy. We don't want to hurt the next Republican uh, administration from their ability to secure the border, which is what Americans want. And we ought to try to figure out how to do something the House will actually pass. Because also the House has been left out. So uh, Mike Johnson was not part of this. So we received the text finally Sunday night with the plan, again, like whether it's the omnibus, whether it's the China bill or all these bills, we get the text at the last minute, we're supposed to vote on it very quickly. Uh, the only thing I can think of is when people don't tell you information, you generally don't think of positive things about it. So what's our plan to go forward? What we should do is sit down as a conference and say, what's important to us? And then as a conference, we say, if, if the Democrats want to pass a bill, these are the things that we have to have in there. We don't have to go through the amendment process. We ought to, as a group, come together and say, this is what we ought to do. Now, we're going down the same path with, re with regard to Ukraine. <clears throat> We've had two conference meetings in the last two weeks. One was on the border, one was on Ukraine. If you listen to conversations, not that it was the majority, but anything but conversations, one, people think we ought to pay for things. People question why, whether we should – some people think we should do nothing on Ukraine, but some people say, well, at least we shouldn't do humanitarian aid and we shouldn't pay for their government if we're not going to – we're going to borrow money and pay for it especially like things like their pension, right? And if we're going to do – if we're going to do lethal aid, let's know exactly what we're going to do. But we're in the same position. Part of the supplemental, we have – we have a Ukraine package that we've not been sold on it. We've not had a conversation. Somebody's coming and telling us, hey, this is why we're doing it. This is the plan. This is lethal weapons. This is exactly how, how we're going to make sure Ukraine win, okay, and, and, and Putin lose. So – and then, well, then, you, and then you look at this, I'm not going to do anything that gives money to Gaza. I'm not. Why, why? I mean, do you think in the Second World War we're sitting there giving money? I mean, we, would, did we feel sorry for people that were part, part of governments that were trying to kill Americans? Probably did. But we – they just – you know, you know, Hamas just went in and killed 1,200 um, Israelis and some Americans, and they still have American hostages. And – and, th and this bill is going to allow, allow the president to give money to Gazans, which is going to go to Hamas? This is crazy. We have got to figure out a way – we've got to figure out a way to start working together as a conference to do what we believe in. We would like a secure border. I think, I think whether – we would all like Ukraine to win and Russia to lose. We might have different views on how that should be done, but why don't we start coming together as a conference to get something done? Let me turn it over to Senator Mike Lee.